it was pretty obvious that every England man and his dog were going to go to that game in Ireland. You don't need a passport. There's no security ID. As the England supporters arrived in Dublin, there were sporadic outbreaks of trouble before the game. And I can remember the build-up to the game being in Dublin the night before. You got the feeling that their summit was going to happen. The air was thick with tension because there had been trouble in the streets of Dublin during the day. And you could sense something that was malevolent in the air that night. The first thing I noticed when I walked into the ground was that the English fans were in the West Upper Stand, which I thought was a little unusual. Because if this game was going to be targeted for, for trouble, I think the FAI and the security people should have made sure that any potential troublemakers were kept on the ground, low level. Instead they put them up in the highest part of the West Upper Stand, which is actually surrounded at the time by old wooden seats. So not only did they, did they give them the high ground, they actually gave them ammunition. Remember when the national anthems were played, that there was tension on both sides. They were not respectfully observed. The Irish fans didn't respectfully observe God Save the Queen, and around the Vienna certainly wasn't respectfully observed by the English fans. The English one was drowned out. An English attempted to, to drown the Irish out, albeit they were outnumbered slightly, but uh, after that it was just a case of F the Pope and the IRA, no surrender, that sort of stuff. Obviously, in football grounds people sit all lose, all inhibitions. They do what they want, do what they can to antagonise other crowds, whether it be something they wouldn't normally do in the street. Just to wind them up, to get them agitated, to spark something, that's what they'll do. And this is the section of the West Stand where our cameraman is stuck there in front of a hostile English crowd. Uh, the flags are obvious. That's who they're supporting. I couldn't tell what the Irish were singing because obviously uh, I couldn't make out what they were chanting but it didn't seem particularly pro-English to be honest. Yeah, well, they were singing like pro airy songs and chants were going back and forth, you know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned, that area scum. And uh, if somebody I can see visibly is chanting, supporting them, it boils my blood. Um, one major up to the time David Kelly scored a goal, it all seemed to turn sour after Ireland scored the open goal. We had to endure 20 minutes of urine Guinness cans being thrown at us. Now you ask anyone if they're going to put up with that for 20 minutes, and you have people shouting, oh, we're going to come over to London and bomb you. You, you. you try not reacting to that. I think somebody's produced a banner, obviously to took offence to it. And just started smashing the seats up and flinging amongst them. What about um, all, all the riots that were in, in Ireland? You played a part in that, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I was there at Lansdowne Road. I mean, uh, so what, what people don't understand is um, it was the first time the national anthem had ever been played at Lansdowne Road. Obviously, uh, with them booing the national anthem, that's going to get people's backs up for a start. And obviously, with them singing Republican songs and, and what have you, uh, you know, and to be truthful, to be fair, the English don't need a fucking, uh, they don't need an excuse, you know what I mean, against against the Irish. Um, oh, they, they've scored, they've gone 1-0 up. Uh, the English have got the zig, you know what I mean, gone the other way, fucking started. Uh, what, what they actually thought was, that they, they maintained that it started up, but it fucking didn't. It was actually down below. Right, and then uh, and I can't believe that the old they didn't even they didn't even put a call in there to stop the English. I actually got a ticket before for the Irish for the Irish end because I didn't have a ticket, so I got a ticket. I actually got nicked outside the ground. I fucking I took, we jumped the turnstile and we got nicked, and then a few of me mates steamed into the old bill. We've done the fucking we've had a little scuffle with the old bill. I've ended up. Then getting a ticket, getting into the Irish end, I've made my way all the way down to the front. When I was booing the national anthem, I just climbed over the fucking over the front of the uh, of the of the barrier, right where all the press where all the press was sitting round 
uh, taking, you know, with their cameras and taking photographs and what have you. And I've just got one fucking Irish guy, a bang of it, and boom, boom, boom. Walked over, got into the press, sat there, then got fucked off, and I got into the thing. So I'm actually down below. So the, the story tallies up well because it done me a good stead when I got back at the back at the airport. But when we when we was um, down below, the, the, the Irish started getting a bit f like familiar with us and all that, so we've given it the other way, and then, then it's all gone off. Because we're fighting now above the English and now throwing things down on the Irish, that's what actually happened. They said that it started up there, but it didn't fucking start like that at all. It started down below. But where it took st st stood me in good stead to be truthful was I had the ticket for the, I for the island end. So... When, when I get back to the airport, the old Bill come over, uh, the, the, the two of us got pulled out, there's a plane like 240 fucking seven of us or whatever there was on the plane. And they pulled me up and said, listen, uh, we're football league and intelligence and, uh, and we, you know, we want to know where you've just uh, come from. And I said, well, as the plane's just landed in from fucking Ireland, I'd say Dublin, wouldn't you? I mean, you know. <laughs> I don't know what sort of fucking exams you had to pass to be old Bill, but I mean, I didn't think that was so fucking hard to work out. But anyway, that's that's what happened. So they said to me, well, what team do you follow? So so, so I said, well, England, because I went to watch England, mate, so I, I follow England, don't I? So he went, well, what would you go over there for? So I said, pleasure, because watching my country is my pleasure. So anyway, he said, uh, well, we believe that you've got form and this. I said, well, whatever, mate. So anyway, there was, no, there was three of them there. One of them writes something down, turns a bit of paper over. So he says to me, so you know not football? And I said, listen, mate, you're the old Bill, you fucking tell me, you know what I mean? I don't, you know, what's all this about? I ain't been nicked there, there's been no trouble, there's been no this, there's been no that. Do you know what I mean? He said, well, there has been plenty of trouble. So I said, well, you know, as, as the papers say, you know, but they hype it up, didn't they? So anyway, I said to him, uh, so he says, right, can, you, can, can we search us? So I says, yeah, no problem. So I take off my fucking top, bang, it's the big Chelsea tattoo, you see. So all of a sudden, the Cosa turns a bit of paper and says, Jason, man, a category C, Chelsea, Chelsea head on that. So he says, that's what we think you are and that's what you are. So I said, OK. He says, was you up there with all the trouble? So I said, no, there's me ticket. And there was me ticket. And I said, I was actually standing with the Irish all the fucking game, you know what I mean? And he couldn't prove it any other way, you know, but... Um... <laughs> what, what do you think then about, you know, all of this thing about dragging England's name into the dirt and scum and all of that? Fucking brilliant. What, 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 I mean, you know, what, I mean, listen, we are a fighting nation, you know, look, it, you can get out of it and you can, and you can, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, look, I'm not here to fucking glorify it, you know, I'm 41 years old now, I've done my fucking bit and this, that and the other, but hold on a minute, we get fucking treated like dogs are bald, you know, let, let's, let, let's say that Denmark are fucking playing in Germany, they get welcomed with open arms. The high tides, they get welcomed with open arms. Do you know what I mean? You know, when it's England, it's here they are. The, 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 the right-wing thugs are coming to fucking storm to invade our country. Do you know what I mean? You know, I mean, it's just a fucking joke. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, someone I don't help themselves. I mean, listen, it's changing. It's changing more and more as time goes on. But, you know, uh, to let's have it fucking right. You know, uh, you know, back in the day, it, it, was, it, it was an awesome thing to... To, to go away with your club, you know, it's all fucking, it's fans going now, they're taking their kids and all that, do you know what I mean, so I'm told, I don't know, I'm, you know, I'm past my 10 year ban and I'm on another ban and I, so, I don't know.